1,609 metres. About to hit release point in the back straight. Green light comes on, away they go. Afterburn was restrained soon after the start, as was Juice Star and speed from Franco Salisbury, gate four. He's charging over and looking for the lead, going underneath at Burning Ambition. Fountain Lakes looks to be taking a sit, although poking up on the inside now. And as they drive into that first turn, it's Burning Ambition taking over over Fountain Lakes and Franco Salisbury. Wider on the track, McGugan starts to make ground around them, then never know Aussie. The inside was almost uh, uh, always Amy. Next in was Scotch Creek, followed by Afterburn. He's ended up about fourth to last inside of Mitri's Magic. Parasology is back towards the rear and uh, Juice Star drops to the tail. Ultimate Courage is the one out three wide as they make their way into the straight. First quarter, 28.6, and it's Franco Salisbury favourite on top over Ultimate Courage now sitting outside the leader. McGugan and Burning Ambition were next with uh, Burning Ambition being leaders back. Fountain Lakes ends up three back the inside. It's being covered up in turn by Never Know Aussie. Always Amy was next, followed by Scotch Creek. On the inside, Afterburners, fourth last. Mitri's Magic, Parasology, and Juice Star whips them in. 29-5 second quarter. On top is the favourite. Franco Salisbury leads by two metres. Ultimate Courage and Burning Ambition leaders back. McGugan's in the 1-1. One -one. Fountain Lakes hasn't spent a penny. It's three back the inside. From Never Know Aussie, Always Amy, Scotch Creek. Next was Afterburn, followed by Mitri's Magic, Parasology, and Juice Star is at the rear. Off the back, past the 400, 28. There's been no loafing in this. 28 seconds was that third quarter. Quarter and it's Franco Salisbury on top. Burning Ambition in second. Ultimate Courage starts to drop off. Fountain Lakes needs an out. And further back, Never Know, Aussie and McGugan around the bend though. Franco Salisbury nicely clear. Burning Ambition now pulls off its back. Then followed Ultimate Courage. Fountain Lakes the inside. Franco Salisbury in front. Burning Ambition is running it down. Franco Salisbury, Burning Ambition dives at it close to the line. Didn't get there. Franco Salisbury just held on over Burning Ambition. Third's either Ultimate Courage or Always Amy from Fountain Lakes who didn't run on. Next was Mitri's Magic, followed by Afterburn, Scotch Creek, Juice Star. Next was McGugan. Further back was Never Know Aussie, and Parasology was at the rear. 28-5, the final quarter. 28-5. 154-6. And the winner should be number four, Franco Salisbury. Two Burning Ambitions second. 11 Always Amy should get third. 28-6, the first quarter, 29-5. 154-5, the amended time, 28-0 and 28-4. 28-4, that amended final quarter. 4-2 and a photo here on the third event. 11 gets third after the photo, always Amy. So 4-2-11, that final quarter, 28-4 and 154-5 was the amended uh, time, 4-2-11 and 6. The winner, Franco Salisbury, a bay gelding five years by Liz Mara out of Sally Franco, was owned by F. Scroll, R. Romanovich, uh, M. Jackson and C. Morris, trained by Mark Callaghan, driven by Todd McCarthy, giving connections the winning double. <laughs> number, two burning, uh, number two, Burning Ambition, second. Uh, bay Mare, five years by Betters Delight out of Ohoka Moon, is owned by A. Muldoon and R. Garrett, trained and driven by Guy Chapel. And number 11 getting third, Always Amy, a Bay Mare four years by Always a Virgin out of Break and Armbro, was owned by D. Ladder, A. Zonoff, D. Doyle and J. Ladder. Margot Lennox was the trainer and uh, driven by Jason Proctor. 4 to 11 and 6 on race 3. <coughs> Half neck was the winning margin. Four metres between second and third. Half neck by four metres. So Divvies, a dollar sixty, a dollar thirty the winner, two thirty second, two eighty third, Quinella seven ninety, exact to ten thirty. Trifecta fifty seven forty, first four, three hundred and forty nine sixty, duets four fifty, sixteen sixty, and four dollars thirty. Running double on races two and three, two hundred and two fifty. Two oh two fifty the running double. Fourth event is the follow us on Twitter, Newcastle Harness Racing Club Pace. It's over two thousand and thirty metres. Scratchings are three and four. Number one, I'm St. Anthony to be driven further forward, as is number nine, Armageddon Flame. We've got a field of 11 to run in the fourth event. Time to go at 10 after seven. Is the all clear on race four, uh, race three, all clears there, four, two, 11, six. Clear Newcastle, four, two, 11, six. Clear Newcastle, four, two, 11, six. Clear Newcastle. <laughs> 